Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through graphical system. Okay, whenever you do something in graphics, how it is going to process or how it is going to happen, how you are giving the input, how it is processing, how it is storing in the memory, how it is how it is pushing into the frame buffer, how it is displaying on your screen. So these are all the activities which are done in our graphic system, guys. So it is having five main elements. So we'll be going through them. Don't worry. Okay, so the first element will be nothing but your input device through which you give input and the second will be your processor which processes the given input. Memory is the place where you store your particular data which you are trying to enter. Frame buffer, I told you in a previous lecture, it is something like a video recorder or something like that. So it stores a frame by frame and it displays it. Fine. Okay. And then the output device on which device you are going to show the output. So the small diagram will be in this way guys. These are the few input devices. I hope everyone know about keyboard, touchpad and mouse. Even if you don't know, we'll be going through a deep discussion in the second unit guys about these topics. Okay. And all these inputs are passed through the processor. Okay. And the processor will interact with the memory in both the directions to and from it goes into the memory and memory returns the values or any kind of things to the processor and the image is ready for display in the frame buffer and it is finally displayed onto the output device. Output device mostly will be the monitor guys, but the way of displaying will be different guys to like we are having three different types. We'll be using cathode ray tube or raster scan or random scan. So we'll be discussing about those. Don't worry. Okay. So I hope everyone got a small idea on all the things that we have discussed till now. So we'll be giving a small introduction about these two things guys, because I didn't write much notes about these things, but we'll be discussing in depth about input devices and output devices. So what is processor guys? So whenever you give any kind of function, let us assume in uh, GLUT itself, we'll be giving GL vertices 2F, 3F like that, right? So we'll be giving in brackets, we'll be giving values, right? So the processor will understand the code which we have returned guys, the languages that everything will be processed by the processor and the data like the numbers where it should locate and what it is locating and everything will be stored into the memory and they are passed to the frame buffer. For it is, once it is in the frame buffer, you can say that it is ready for display. Fine. Okay, so now we'll be discussing about input devices in the next tutorial we'll be going through a few output devices guys. Okay, let us continue. So input devices. Input devices are the hardware that is used to transfer input to the computer. So I hope everyone knows about input device guys. This graphics subject is really easy as if you know something about computers, you can just write it on your own because the topics are really related. Okay, so input devices are nothing but through which you give input to the system, right? Okay, so different types of input devices will be graphics, graphical text or sound. Sound is nothing but microphones and all those things guys. Okay, so few widely used output devices guys will be going in depth about output device, sorry input devices guys, don't worry. Okay, so keyboard, keyboard is nothing but in which you will be having different frequencies, you will be typing the characters, right? So the most commonly used input device, the data is entered by pressing the set of keys. That's what I have just told you guys. Okay, so all keys are available. Sorry, all keys are labeled guys. So I hope everyone knows that on each every key you will be having A, B, C, D like that, right? So that is the reason why I have just written the small point. They are labeled. So further moving on mouse. So I hope everyone knows mouse. So it is having a central roller and a right side and a left button. It will be in this way with a cable or wireless according to your wish. Okay. So it is a pointing device and use it to position the pointer. So why you will be using this guys? You will be having a cursor, right? So it will be in this way. I think so. Just give me a second. Right. So this is your cursor. So you'll for pointing this onto your icons or anything like that, you'll be using this mouse and touchpad. Touchpad is nothing but uh, direct touch guys. It is a pointing device which is used to select or display the menu items or a draw pictures like this. If you want to draw a circle, you'll be drawing in this way. So it's automatically drawn something like a touch device. Fine. Okay. So frame buffer. Frame buffer, it is used to store the image which is to be displayed on the screen. Yeah, I have just told you about this, right? So once it is ready for display, we'll be storing it in the frame buffer. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through the output devices and we'll be starting about cathode ray tube, guys. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.